gents, I hope you're all amazing. Today we're checking out the Kitty Hawk Quattro, which is a four channel all tube preamp. You've got a clean, a crunch, an overdrive, and a hot overdrive mode on here. I'm running it with a Synergy Syn 5050 power amp, a Marshall 1960 TV tall vintage cab with 25 volt greenbacks. And in post, I've patched in my Lexicon PCM81. I've wanted to try this preamp for a long time, solely for the fact that when I was a teenager, my dad had, he actually still has a massive collection of old guitar player, guitar for the practicing musician and guitar world magazines from the eighties. And I remember seeing this thing advertised as I was getting into guitar tones and rack gear in particular. I remember seeing one of these and thinking it would be really cool to try and find one of these one day. And I guess today is that day, a very special thank you to my buddy Rutger for making this particular video happen. Let's start on the clean channel, Strat neck pickup. <laughs> Nice fat punchy clean sound on there on that neck and middle combination. It's sparkling as any preamp from the 80s should. I kicked in a Cali 76 by Origin FX before the preamp. Let's hear that now. Really, really nice with the compressor. And of course, we've got to add some grease. I'm going to kick my Eventide H3500 in on factory preset 519, the other micro shift preset. This is ultimate 80s clean now. Mm -hmm. Let's hear the crunch channel now, I'll go to the bridge pickup of my Strat, then we will hear it with a Les Paul. <laughs> Next up, let's hear the overdrive channel. I'm just gonna riff around and dial it in, then we will hear how much extra gain you get on hot overdrive. <laughs> Thank you. 
there's also this bright control on the overdrive channels, which I guess kind of works sort of like a presence control. Obviously, a presence control is going to interact with your power amp negative feedback. This isn't a power amp, but I'll just give you an idea of the kind of range you have in the bright control. <laughs> To finish up, let's see how nasty we can make this thing sound. I've got my SC245 in drop C. I'm on the overdrive channel. I'm just going to dial it in a little bit and then I'll probably kick in the SD1 just to tighten everything up. Let's go. Definitely giving me some dirt Alice in Chains vibe on there, especially on the hot overdrive channel with the boost. You can hear there that balancing out the bright and the treble control is really important with this particular preamp. You get a very kind of like mid forward thing with the bright all the way up and the treble down and it's a little scoopier sounding and uh, yeah, a little bit more, I would say late 80s if you got the bright up and the treble down and then early 90s the other way around. I quite like this. Let's hear this with the H3000 kicked in on top of it. Just, just constant. Mm. of the day of course is that pitch detune makes everything sound amazing. It's definitely got a kind of brown thing happening about it this particular preamp and it does give me big Jerry Cantrell, Alice in Chains Dirt era guitar tones, you know whatever era he was using the Bogner Fish with, getting a similar thing from this. So it'd be interesting to try this 
in a few other settings, you might be able to get close to that kind of Dean DeLeo, Stone Temple Pilots, Demeter or Demeter, however you say that TGP sort of tone out of it. It's just got that thing going on to my ears, but let me know what you think in the comments about the Kitty Hawk Quattro. Did you have one of these back in the day? Do you still have one of these? Is it something you've always wanted to try? Were you impressed with the tones? Did the tones do not too much for you? It's probably something that has slowly been growing on me the more time I've spent with it and the more guitars I've run through it, uh, the more I've enjoyed what it does for what it does rather than expecting it to sound, you know, like an MP1 or a Soldano or something like that. So I'll play you all out with some more of that kind of greasy, dirty tone. And I will wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, there's links in the video description and please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. I'll see you all next time. Cheers for watching.